Welcome back to Dragon's Plays. Salt and Sanctuary. Alright. So anyways. We're gonna go ahead and proceed to the next zone. Past the Festering Banquet. Alright, through this locked door. Hello, good sir. Greetings, traveler. Do you have a quest? I do indeed. Rescuing a princess, hmm? I haven't seen any princesses, but don't lose hope, friend. Anyway, it's good to have a quest. Would you like to know what my quest is? Sure. Excellent. My quest is to invade that castle to the east, defeat its guardians, and slay the dragon. Castles must be invaded and dragons must be slain, mustn't they? Getting into the castle is a different story. There's a bridge to it, but it's missing bits. There's another way in, but it's not easy. Saw a passage beneath the fortress you just merged from. Perhaps it leads to it leads to a village to a village of sorts. There is a shortcut that connected the beach to the village, but it's been barred. Perhaps you can unlock it. Heard something about a jester. The jester knows a way to get to places no one else can. It's easy to claim something, until you actually back your claims up. You're just a rumor, rumor monger. Okay. And we got to level up Pearl. That's awesome. And there are illusionary walls in this game, which is what I just found. Now that one's absolutely a shortcut for later, so not really much we can do there, unfortunately. Really. Alright. We got an arrow and a salt book. All right. Hello, friend. Trinkets to sell, trinkets for coin. Friend, I'm so happy you came along. I've gathered things, trinkets and trinkets and such. Trinkets for gold, what? That's what I've got, trinkets for coin. How'd you end up here? I stowed away, sold trinkets in teen a bit for trinkets for coin. So poor though, talk of wealth and carry on. Even beggars like me must be getting manservants there, they say. Stowed away, sailed then, that storm. Imagine the surprise on those sailors' faces, seeing the likes of me in the wreckage there with the rest of them honest men. All of us floated in the sea, clinging to the planks, shivering in the icy cold. Not sure how many of the others made it to shore. That shivering shore. That shivering, shivering shore. But the trinkets I find here, they do sell, they do. Doing quite nicely as nicely I am. Soon enough I'll be able to buy my escape. Somehow, somehow. 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 He sells lockets of hair, which are used for upgrades. Endless fang. Um, bolts, flame bolts, torches, and stained pages. Now you can apply them um, to add arcane weapon or arcane damage to your weapon. Or you can use it to expunge or crush it in a its brittle pages in a holy place to expunge its sacred light. So you can use that to break other creeds holds on certain sanctuaries. Another locked passage. Now if I remember correctly. Lightning bolt and some torches. I believe there's stained cage and a stone mage. Yeah, I do three damage to him. Not gonna be messing with him. He has two hundred health, I believe. 
We just came down here for the treasure. Alright, gotcha. Ooh, Blade Wraith Rip. That was a good drop. go and we made it back here now I have that new point to drop in all right yeah so willpower strength so three more points and I can start using um, great swords and better swords in general, plus it also gives me more strength, which is damage. Secret door to the right, thank you. Alright, I believe that one... Yeah, delicate ring carved of solid green, a precious gem. Adventurers always seek pillar, ugh, pilfered prizes, but it seems that whether a slain foe spoils are all trash or treasure always come down, or come down, comes down to luck. Increases your item find. Not by a lot, though. What? Oh, I'm on a ladder, so it's not letting me equip. No reason not to put that on for now. Alright, this next section is going to be fun. Alright, so this is a bronze knight. Mess up the parry. Messed up the parry. Got the parry that time. So those bodies hang there are actual people. supposed to drop a thing. Then he dropped a bill of return. That's strange. Break my bones, why don't I? I hate the grab attacks in this game. and spear. Bundle of salt. Alright. Fuse metal ring. That one gives me endurance. Ooh. 
Ray Pearl, so that's the one to respec. Ghastly Gorge, so fighting those guys over there, totally not worth it. Alright, so at current, I cannot get up top there. Yeah, those guys, they have a ton of health. But if you parry them... Oh, Conda the Mind, he drops it. But if you parry them, they're not nearly as much of a problem. Stone Leader? Drown Bandit's Ear. So that leads into the forest, where I don't want to go yet. There we go. So that, that's a good one. So here we have a clever little trap. Alright. So here we have the sanctuary of another um, creed. So this is the three. You have a, like, knight type guy, a mage, and then this person here. Well, not a mage, but you know what I mean. So you have these three, and you can actually see a second set of banners back there. Blacksmith apparel. So the blacksmith gloves actually increase your strength, which is nice. All right, so I can currently only one or two hand the um, this great sword, the Karnama, however the heck you say that. And this guy actually will smith your stuff, which is nice. Let's see. All right, one more, and then I can get that. All right. So I'm going to save that curl. Or when I can actually um, get the stuff to two hand. Hello, curiosity. What creature persists in the face of some suffocating despair? The others have begun to leave. Will it join them? I will not. Such a brief, foolish curiosity. It will struggle then, and it will bleed, and it will fall. And one day, when it finds itself beaten and broken, gasping for air, choking on its own blood and tears, that will be the day that it needs, and I will consume it. And then he will not say more. So that line will drop the spike thing up top. Which is actually what happened to this guy here. He actually walked into their own trap. Oh. 
So you can rest at sanctuaries of other creeds. However, you do not get any benefits from your creed. So you're able to increase your devotion to get more healing items. Or other such things. You do not get those if you rest at... Another sanctuary, or another creed sanctuary. All right, we got another ring. Stone cleric. We have enough for a level. Warped link. All right. All right, so I'm just going to get all of the. All right. Spell of return. Okay, so we got a bunch of very useful stuff. Start with. Level. And two points in for the greatsword. Well, that sucks. Upgrade our greatsword. Ooh, cool. All right, plus one. And then I need 500. This thing has pretty decent reach from the looks of it. All right, each one of these are 250. No charms. All right, upgrade. And we plus two of our great sword already. Next, we need a soldier's poem to upgrade it. So the way this system set up, it's one, one, two, then one and two, then one and two, and then one. very strong. It's interesting. They don't actually give you damage numbers on those hits. Alright. So we do a crap ton of damage. We just have very, very slow attacks. Which might be a disadvantage against the Queen of Smiles! This is the Village of Smiles, I should mention.
Ow. I have one healing item left. And dead! Nice. Vanquished. We have Smiles here. Alright, so I'm going this way because it actually links back with our, um... Our save point. I believe this one holds a Great Pearl. No? The chef set. Here's the gray pearl. Black pearl, one, not gray. Gray's the um one that takes out. All right. Nice. So that gave us three levels. Okay. So one of the things we definitely need now is um. We need stamina, because this thing eats stamina like crazy, and then we also need, um, endurance. Alright, well, let's do that for now. So, we got three endurance, and we got some more damage. That's good. to arcane warped ring this rules yeah none of those things are particularly useful for our build All right, I'm mainly gonna be using the shield to parry with so this is the weight that currently matters we go yeah then we'll do that sweet all right so now we just have some cleanup stuff to take care of under the in the underneath area all right so that's the way forward it's also very dark there That's a good one. Increases attack power. So it doesn't say it, but it's 10% attack boost. So charms are these things that you hang from your weapon to get, like, a little bonus effect. Bloodflower is one of the best in the game. Because it's just a flat damage boost. Well, not flat. It's percentage, which is technically better. Alright, so can't do that thing yet. Alright. Down here into the dock. Hoi, one minute. Call me Fern. I've been hiding out here for some time. Seen any trinkets? I've lost a small pouch of earth. I do not have it. Shame. Where a drop attack. Good message. Wish I could rate the thing. Honestly. Alright. Haymaker. Bundle of salt.
down here we have her, and I believe that's it. Well met, Saltborn. I am not like you, born of salt. I am born of that life that flickers like flame. I am summoned by the Song of Swords, spelled in candlelight, written by the drowned Saltborn. Your world is cold and stifling. My light is fleeting here. So this is your partner. To be saltborn is to be dying, fragment of eternity. To be born of light is to be truly living, yet so ethereal. And then she sells the evervescent cassock, cowl, and cincture, which is her clothing. Not a lot there. That's it. Low brightly, Saltborn. So that's your partner, so if you end up sinning, which you do by betraying covenants in this one, that's where you go to get it forgiven. Now then. Gotcha. We do good damage. Hail Charm. Attack Reach. So that gives you even more range. And this weapon has plenty of range. Does this one have a... All right, it has a launcher. The Watching Woods. Poison? Nice. We do ridiculous amounts of damage. There we go, battle axe. A second one, really. Those are a relatively rare drop. I got a wing. A third one? Alright, and that leads back to him. So we've closed off that circuit. Mossy Charm, so that one's attack speed. The Crimson Set. That guy back dashed into his own trap. So this is the other entrance that we saw previously. See, this is where we dropped down earlier. Alright, so at this point, I'm just going to um, finish off these woods. Really? 
or not. It's a little wonky in there, but there's a path of branches that you can climb up to the very top. Alright. I guess this is as good a spot as any. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Next time, we're going to head back into those woods and see if we can take, well, regain our salt and push on to the end of the woods. So anyways, I'll see all of you guys later. Bye!